Hi guys, welcome back. This is part 17. In this video, we're building onto the bottom level. So I'm going to work in this room here. I just drew a line. I had my house up here and I drew a line for a new wall. Okay, I'm thinking a lot about this bottom floor here. I'm going to add some stabilizers in here and I've already cut them. And it's just, uh, I'm gonna put two pieces on each wall here because I wanna cut into these walls, but I don't wanna do that while there's just one layer of cardboard there. So I'm gonna glue these in with tacky glue and I'm gonna let them dry before I do any cutting. Okay, now I have uh, two places cut out and stabilizing those walls was a good idea. Now I'm going to round out all the corners and the ceilings, so I will be hot gluing some tin foil. Okay, so I decided not to cut into this wall. Instead, I cut off a section on the outside. So you can see there used to be a uh, cardboard here. So I cut that off and what I'm thinking of doing is when I build my root system, the root will come down and I'll make a little door in that way. So we'll come in through here and you can walk around through this area here. Okay, so I added some more tin foil and then a layer of masking tape went on everything and then a layer of paper towel dipped in glue. So now these walls here are ready for drywall or for clay, whatever medium I choose to cover those with but before I do that I'm going to be building in here so you can see I've already removed part of that floor so there's going to be a wall coming up here with an archway so I'm going to build all of that with tin foil and I'm going to start right about now All right, guys, you can see since I turned off the camera that I rebuilt this area right here. 
do you remember the little bit of a wall I had came right about here so I decided I want to have much more space here because this is going to be the kitchen and I want it to be a very busy kitchen. I want to have cupboards and a stove and all that. And so I thought, no, I'm just going to rip it out now and build it up while I'm still working in this area. So I got a lot of space here. I'm happy about that. So I got about an extra, oh, about five inches. So that's the great thing about building with foil because even though I had put the... Um, masking tape and the, and the uh, paper towel over top that one root, I was able to take a knife and just cut it free and start over again in that area. And if you check this out over here, these were the walls that I was a bit worried about because they're pretty much holding up everything here. <laughs> and they're almost like rock hard now. So with that um, doubled up cardboard, masking tape and then paper towel and some tin foil as well, these are not a concern at all. I'm, I mean, I'm pulling on them. <laughs> Nothing's happening. So, pretty good stuff. So now I can put my drywall compound on there, and it's going to be even stronger. Alright, so I added a layer of drywall to the inside walls and the ceilings and then gave a coat of paint. I'm not sure about the final color of the paint, but we are a step closer for sure. And I was going to do the floors, but um, I had to call my dad over because I need to figure out how to level this part here. So he's working on a piece of wood for me that's going to be attached to the bottom here, and then this will level out this floor. And then I can add my kitchen floors up here, and it's going to be a stone floor. So that will probably be the next video. <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? <laughs> I'm just looking at the edge here. It won't be quite right. And when the next video is available, it should be popping up on your screen. If you don't see it yet, I'll just say, see you soon.